So if you have not heard of the changes in the O.J. Simpson case, here is what's going on. I remember when O.J. Simpson was trying on the bloody glove at the trial and he could not get the left hand glove on and he was wearing the latex glove underneath and it would only go halfway on his hand. Well, there's a Mandela effect on this and now he puts on both bloody gloves and they fit. And you can still hear Johnny Cochran say, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. How strange is that? That is one change. The other change is when OJ Simpson was in that famous police chase. I remember he was driving his white Bronco and he was by himself. The change uh, with that that has occurred is now his friend Al Callings is the driver and OJ Simpson is now in the back seat with a gun to his own head. Oh, and that white Bronco in that chase now belongs to Al Callings, not OJ Simpson. Well, while researching this on OJ Simpson's white Bronco, I come to find out that there are now two white Broncos. I don't ever remember there being two white Ford Broncos. So get this, according to this new history, O.J. Simpson's white Bronco was found to have blood from his ex-wife Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ron Goldman. This is what's strange to me. O.J. Simpson's Bronco is now destroyed after the trial and the Bronco that still exists is that of Al Cali. This is new history to me for sure. So for those people saying that the Mandela effect is a good thing, yeah right. This shit is evil and I don't care what anybody says. Wake up. This is not from God. One day, hopefully, people will come to this realization. On my channel, I do not promote any change. All changes with this Mandela effect are evil. I did talk about this change on the white Bronco appearing on Rena's Maybe It's Mandela channel that was streamed on April 30th, 2020. And I will provide a link to that live stream if you want to check it out. So take a look and let me know what you remember. And I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder. One of the four beasts saying, come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him. Rosa Lopez, a maid who worked next door to Simpson. The defense claimed she gave Simpson an alibi because she saw the white Bronco parked outside his house at 10.15, a time when prosecutors said the murders could have been committed. 25 years ago today, O.J. Simpson took off on the car chase that entranced the nation, facing a murder warrant over the deaths of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman. Simpson decided not to surrender himself to police. Instead, he took off through the highways of Los Angeles in his now famous white Ford Bronco. Don't be deceived by the nondescript surroundings. Under this blue tarp, Tucked away in a cluttered suburban garage sits an incredible long lost piece of American history. This is the white Ford Bronco in which O.J. Simpson fled cops as he was about to be arrested for double murder. This car has been out of the public eye for 20 years. Yes. It's a little dusty, but the Bronco looks just the same as it did two decades ago when more than 90 million people watched that famous low speed chase on live TV. They say it's the second most viewed vehicle in world history behind the Kennedy car. See the license plate on the real OJ Bronco? 3DHY503. Gilbert has that too. Uh, how much is this worth, would you guess? We've been offered 300,000. 300, 
It's not surprising the real Bronco is in such good condition. Part of American history. So this is it. The OJ Bronco. <laughs> wow. It is the OJ Bronco. Are you kidding me? I've never seen anything quite like this. This is it. Well, it's not the OJ Bronco. It's his buddy's Bronco, right? That's right. It's the Bronco OJ was in the back seat of. It's sort of weird because OJ and his friend, what was his name? AC. They both had identical Broncos. But this is the one everyone knows. This is one everyone saw on television. The infamous car chase. And OJ's actually got destroyed, right? Correct. Yeah, so OJ now lives in the state of Nevada. Yeah, I don't think that's by choice. Yeah. I own the white Ford Bronco. The murders were June 12th. OJ was supposed to turn himself in on the morning of the 17th. He didn't. And that's the Bronco that everybody can remember seeing driving up the 405 freeway. I've been offered $500,000 for the Bronco. I turned it down. So here it is. I would like to be able to sell the Bronco and then take that money and give it to my children. So how did you get this thing? At the time of the Bronco chase, I was OJ's agent. Amazing. There were some people that were going to sell the Bronco to a company called, I think it's Graveline Tours, and they were going to go up and down the freeway, go by the murder site, and I just thought that'd be classless, especially since the trial hadn't started yet. So I got it from AC, and I've uh, kept it pretty much hidden for the last 22 years.